So we're back with the second artifact centric deck of the day right after blue white metalwork colossus so this is mono white devotion which has now skewed into the artifact plan because there are a lot of white artifacts now that Escalon has been printed so specifically this is a yorion deck so we do got to fill the deck up with a lot of chaff so 33 lands including 21 planes sunken citadels nykthos of course because we wouldn't be devotion without it Inventor's Fair to go grab specific artifacts, Castle Ardenvale as another uh, just land that can produce creatures, and Cascading Cataracts as a thing that you can find off of Golos that allows you to fix for the colors to activate Golos. Uh, then in the deck, so the only one drop we have is Portable Hole to keep people off of our backs on turn one. Then there's Clay Fired Bricks, which is a card ETB, you go get a basic planes and gain two. You can also craft with Artifact for seven, which means you exile an artifact that's either in play or in your graveyard and pay seven. And this flips into a thing that produces uh, two one ones and is an anthem. Then we've got Fabrication Foundry to ramp for artifacts and get artifacts back from our graveyard later. Ingenious Smith, never a fan of this guy, but whatever, he's in the deck. Ossification, more removal. Four Reckoner Bankbusters, one Iron or two Iron Crags is more ramp that are also artifacts, and then finally a main deck Stone Brain. Important for Inventors Faring for that sometimes if you need to beat combos. Skyclip Apparitions for more removal on three. Then we've got Thran Spider, which is a 2-4 reach ETB. You and your opponent both make a Power Stone, which is in most cases not going to be that useful for them, but is going to be more useful for you. Gives you another artifact, gives you more ramp for artifact-centric things. And then you can also pay seven, look at the top four, reveal an artifact, and put it into your hand. So this is when, again, you've got a bunch of extra mana. Arcanist's Owl, so we're really digging into the draft chaff here quadruple azorius hybrid mana and is a 3-3 artifact flyer etb look at the top four reveal an artifact or enchantment put into your hand unstable glyph bridge five mana etb if you cast it for each player choose a creature with power two or less the player controls and then destroy all the creatures except creatures chosen this way so if your opponent controls a creature with power two or less you do have to allow them to keep at least one of those and otherwise everything else dies and it produ it uh saves one of your own two power or lower creatures, which includes Skyclave, importantly, and also Thran Spider. You've got Golos over here as means of finding the lands we want. Probably Nykthos a lot of the time, but also sometimes Cascading Cataracts or whatnot. And then a Mightstone Weakstone in the main as well. No Urzas in the deck, though. And no main deck Thousand Moon Smithies either, in this version at least. And then the sideboard, we do have the Thousand Moon Smithies for the sideboard. I feel probably this is not main because this deck is more of like a go way over the top value deck, less so than a like try to put a big creature into play really fast deck. Specific things for the sideboard, so rip for graveyards, get lost if we need to kill creatures, lay down arms if we need to kill smaller creatures, Yorion of course, more stone brains for the combo matchups, hearse, more graveyard hate, that's also an artifact, and another might stone weak stone. So obvious downsides to the deck are going to be the artifact centric nature of it, forcing you into going down paths you normally wouldn't like if the artifacts didn't matter how good would arcanist sal really be yes it is quadruple white for nykthos but so there's a lot of things that you're like going down specific paths for like you want m multiple white sources for uh, white pips for nykthos you want artifacts for the artifacts energies like a fabrication foundry but no individual card in the deck is really that good it's more of just like outvaluing whatever your opponent is doing also it's 80 cards because of yorion so you're far less consistent but these are the trade-offs you do need to make. You could hypothetically build the deck without Yorion, which would be fine as well, but like, why not? You're playing a bunch of mostly interchangeable value pieces already, so why not Yorion as well? Anyways, that's Mono White Artifact Devotion. Let's jump into our league. On the play, round one, reveal Yorion. Playing against Gigantha, so Battle of the Companions. This is fine, we'll keep this. All right, Sunken Citadel on white and pass. Steam Vents, Bowmat Courier. So, Prowess? Huh. All right, well, am I going to ossify this? I guess. Yeah? All right. Ossify. Tap, tap. Like, may as well hit it now and not let it keep damaging us. Spyglass, Sire. Oh, it's... Well, I was about to say creativity, but I guess it is creativity. Is it transmog? No, it can't be that either, because they have actual creatures in their deck. Uh, huh. Well, let's just be mana efficient and skyclave this dude. So it's not prowess, it's not creativity or transmog. Here's another spyglass siren. They're on just one mana. Yeah, okay, I got no idea what they're doing. Let's just play bankbuster and draw a card with it. Uh, go to attacks, skyclave. Mapping their dude. Revealing a steam vents. All right, they found their second land. Plays the steam vents. Spyglass siren. Uh-huh. We take one. Draw a card with the bankbuster. 
All right, well, we're definitely playing Golos. So if I'm playing Golos, that means I'm crewing the Bank Buster, so I, sh so I should do it now. All right, land Golos. All right, so let's go grab Cascade and Cataract because our White Devotion is not even high enough for Nykthos to really matter. Then we'll crew this with Golos and attack. All right, we won the game. Uh, I have no idea what it is that they're trying to accomplish, so I'm just going to say that we probably just want to kill all their small creatures. And the fact that they're playing a bunch of small creatures that are giving them map tokens means I probably don't want to give them more map tokens. I, I'm honestly completely lost as to what it is that they're doing exactly. It's got to be some kind of combo deck though, right? Like you're not playing Spyglass Siren because it's a good aggro creature. So uh, Stone Brain out until I know otherwise. And I mean, we just like, we just like didn't see enough information, right? That's the problem. All right, let's just do that. All right, this hand's fine. Keep Shivan Reef. Well, they're an Epicure. Uh-huh. All right, Sunken Citadel on white. Back to them. Oh, they're in Soul. Gotcha. Oh, obviously. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Well, huh. Um, I'm not chump blocking this with Smith. I guess this can find Portable Hole, so I, that's probably what I want to do most. Play this. Um, hmm. Fabrication Foundry is probably the best move. I grab that, I ramp, I play another two drop next turn. All right, let's do that. So I'm not blocking this, but I will trade with Epicure, question mark, if they hit me with it, if they attack with it. I guess they're, they're going to attack with it, right? Maybe I just don't block. I like, I don't have to block right now. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Okay. All right, I'm not blocking. They're just going to attack with this, not even Voldaren. All right, sure. We drew lay down arms. What is this? It's equal to mana value equal. Okay, so we can just kill this. So kill the blood. And then Fabrication Foundry is probably the best play. Trigger the Smith. And then let's pass. Do I trade with this Shaman token? They're running Shrapnel Blasts in their deck, right? So I, I should trade with it. Discards two lands, including Ramanop Runes. Rending Volley our guy. All right, well. Inti. Discards Spyglass Siren. Exiles Copter, which they can't play right now. All right, so we take four, go to four, and now we're in Shrapnel Blast range, and they also have a bunch of creatures in play. Oh, and Courier. So even if I play Golos, I'm still dead, right? Portable Hole, great draw. So I go Portable Hole, Inti, and then Clay Fire Bricks up to six life, and then I survive at one, barely. Portable Hole, eat this dude. So Clay Fire, I've already played my land, right? Yeah, just played Bank Buster. All right, back to them. How much mana do I have next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. That assumes I even survive this turn. NT, oh, well, they can't discard anything though. So we're technically not dead yet. <laughs> All right, we're at one. How do we survive? I don't think we do. Arcanist's Owl. If I play this, I don't have enough mana left over to Nykthos, right? So I go Nykthos for, th uh, Nykthos right now is three. So it's basically the same, right? It's Citadel, Nykthos, Plains, Arcanist's Owl, then I only have one mana left over. Golos doesn't get me out of it either. I can draw a card with the Bank Buster. What does that matter? Oh wait, no, the Fabrication Foundry counts, right? So hang on. Okay, so I can go Citadel, Nykthos, Fabrication Foundry, Owl, and then I still have two planes plus Nykthos left over. Although I don't think there's any way for that to matter, but sure. All right, so Nykthos for white, Fabrication Foundry, cast Owl, trigger Owl. We're gonna have all right, I guess portable hole, right? So Nykthos and white, seven mana. I'm still dead though, right? I'm one short of being able to go uh, Yorion to retrieve stuff. So I can hole a guy, I can play Golos, and then what? I guess if I drew, if I Bankbuster and draw Glyph Bridge, that gets me out of it. Yeah, so Bankbuster draw, ossification, kill, kill, block, we still die. Yeah, all right, we're dead. I could have also flipped this, I guess, but then I still would have just had three blockers. Okay, so it's in Soul Artifact, so Skyclave. Uh, what else? We kind of don't have the time to use this a lot, so I think I can cut Bank Buster in this matchup. They're mostly just looking to get in early, right? So removal spells that just kill in Soul or whatever off is fine. Smithy good here? Like, it doesn't put down a fairly substantial blocker, and it's cheaper than, like, Golos, for example. I don't really need to outvalue them. I just need to kill their stuff. All right, this seems fine. Let's do this. All right, we got removal. We've got pretty good blocker into ramp. This hand's fine. Planes go. Shivan Reef, Epicure. All right, I don't want to burn this right now because if they just slam and soul next turn, well, Fabrication Foundry gave me another thing to do. So back to them. Inti. All right, I'll definitely kill Inti. They're going to discard anyway, even though they just get a counter out of it. All right. And they discarded Copter. We drew the Owl. So, huh. 
The Owl's not a good blocker here, and neither is the Spider, but I really don't want to just play Ossification. I think I want to guarantee that I can play a 5-drop next turn, so the Spider is the play. Over to them. So all this Power Stone does is it lets them discard their Blood Token. Tax with Voldaren. Combat Courier in the Graveyard. Exiling a Mountain. Yeah, sure, I'll block. Block. Okay, Spider successfully blocks. Plays Mountain. Plays Copter. Torch the Tower on our dude. All right. Well, I would have hoped to have drawn a land there, but we didn't. So I can play Golos to block everything except Smuggler's Copter. Or I can play Mightstone, kill Inti. And then that gives me more mana next turn, which seems decent. I can also just kill both of their guys. Let's just play Mightstone. All right, uh, kill Inti. Play as another Inti. All right, well, all right then. Bowmat Courier. So we're getting smacked for seven this turn. Cruise the Copter. Oh, eight this turn, sorry, because of Inti's trigger. Oi. This card's Torch the Tower, revealing Shrapnel Blast, but they don't have the mana for it, right? Okay. Wait, they discarded a Shrapnel Blast? What am I missing here? I'm so confused as to what's happening. Oh, no, they, they, they looted it with the cop. Play Spire Bluff, back to us. Okay, so we've got a total of three, four, seven mana, which allows us to either play a blocker and a removal spell, or we can go... So the problem is none of our removal kills this copter, right? So... I also want to get rid of this 4-4. Four, four. So let's see. Scholar gains three. I don't care. If I go Owl, the problem is this stuff only pays for colorless artifacts. So this is this stuff here is only paying for Golos. So the probable best move is... But the Owl is the only thing that blocks the Copter. But I can take one more hit from the Copter. So I think the plan is... Also, if I don't get rid of Inti now, the Copter can potentially grow to a 4-4. Four, four, and then I can't even trade with Arcanist Owl against it anymore. Golos lets me grab Nykthos, which can then potentially get very out of hand, depending on exactly what I'm doing. Actually, if I play the Owl, I, I literally can't play anything else, right? So the Owl's off the table. I'm not playing the Owl. So the best move is probably Golos plus Ossification on Epicure. The alternative is like double removal both of these guys and play Ingenious Smith, but then... Actually, no, I can't even do that either, right? Because a bunch of my mana is tied up in specifically playing artifacts. Okay, so yeah, the move is going to be Golos plus Ossify. Either Golos, tap this, tap this, tap this. So... Let's grab... I'm inclined to say Nykthos, but maybe I should just grab Inventor's Fair so I'm not taking so much freaking damage. What am I doing next turn if I do grab Golos? I'm going Owl, activate Nykthos, make four mana. I just kind of want to get out of like Shrap Blast range and Ramanop range and whatever. I can also just start spinning Golos. I think if I just don't die, I win the long game. So let's grab Inventor's Fair. And then Ossify. And then let's just get rid of Inti and then block Epicure. Hey there, Talks is doing some pop events at my LGS, and since I was given a couple of 4th edition Pestilence, I wonder if you've replayed the Pestilence list with the white-black version and your thoughts on it semi-viable? I have not, but that is one of the lists, uh, one of the decks on our list to, to play. So between Inti and Copter, they basically have like two more card looks per turn, plus Bowmat Courier, so I want to put them in a position where they don't just have infinite looks at more cards, and since I can block Epicure anyway, I think that's fine. Also, I don't want Inti around to grow the Copter. And Soul, the... Power Stone. That's rough. Well, I'm not blocking this, so... Yeah, crew that. So if they attack with everything, I just block Epicure and take 8 and go to 1. No, actually, I can't do that, right? Because Ramanop kills me if I do that? Fuh. Okay, what am I doing then? Well, this... If I if I block here, this is 7, I go to 2, then I gain 1 off Raman, off of uh, Inventor's Fair, right? And I'm at 3, and then I'm facing down every one of these creatures. So the alternative is I can play Ingenious Smith and lay down arms it, but then I'm still in a horrible position. Damn it. If I block Epicure, I'm committing to spending three of my mana next turn to just gain life and not being able to play the Owl. If I block here, then my next turn is going to be spent playing the Owl and lay downing the Power Stone, right? So I go lay down the Power Stone, play... I can't even play Owl and play any other white spells. This is rough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is enough to play Yorion, although that doesn't help either. I think I'm just at the mercy of whatever I draw. All right, let's block Voldaren. So it would have been better to just grab Nykthos. <laughs> we drew Nykthos. Okay, uh, what an amazing draw that was. Okay, so how do I get out of this? I go play Owl, have five white mana. It's got to be the Owl, first of all, right? Like, to get max devotion. So Owl, we have to block this too. So the Owl has to come out. All right, grab Mightstone. All right, we have to lay down arms so we don't die, right? Tap Nykthos for white. Oh, I forgot Ossification. We have six white mana. So now what? We go Smith, eat it, block here, block here, take lethal still. Or I can Inventor's Fair and have three mana left over. 
But I have to I have to lay down arms my own guy, right? Because I otherwise I'm just dead to Ramen up. I mean, hypothetically, they might not have the mana to activate it, but if they just draw a land, we're, no, the Power Stone can activate it. So I have to play Smith. So yield. We need to hit removal. All right, Clay Fire Bricks to gain life. Play Clay Fire Bricks. So gain some life. Grab a Plains. Yield to this. Okay, so if I lay down my own dude, what happens? I chump Power Stone. Arcanist trades with Copter. I take uh, four, and I'm at three. If I lay down arms one of their dudes, let's say I lay down arms this guy, right? I'm at four. If they crew this, I block. I block here, and I block here. So I'm only dead to Shrapnel Blast. So let's lay down arms their Power Stone. Yeah, let's lay down their Power Stone. And then we'll put Yorion in my hand, and then we just pass. All right, so we can block everything. They don't have the mana to activate Ramanop Ruins. The only thing we do is do is Shrapnel. Pops their Bowmat. Rending Volley our Owl. Cruise the Copter. All right, we can't block the Copter. We go to one. They drew. They discarded Shivan Reef. All right, we're dead to Voldaren or Blast. Inti. All right, we survived the turn. Whew. Thousand Moon Smithy. We have a gargantuan amount of mana, right? I can actually use my Fabricator to get back the Owl and then recycle Mightstone, right? How do I gain life? I Yorion Clay Fired Bricks back. Okay, so Mightstone, Plains, Plains, Smithy. Oh, I forgot. I actually don't have as much mana to work with because the owl's dead, right? My devotion is... It's going to be six to smithy in play. All right, we make a big gnome. A really, really big gnome. We have to get the owl back so we can block... The, actually, no, we don't because we can just Yorion block it. Okay, so activate this. Power stone. Then I'm out of mana. So not doing that. So we have to activate Nykthos now, right? Yeah. I guess I can attack first since I'm going to blink everything anyway. Go to combat. Swing here, swing here. All right, 14. All right. Uh, Nykthos, white mana, tap this, and... So if I Fabricator this right now, I get it back and have enough mana for Yorion, but I but the thing I'm fabricating is the Might Stone, and then I don't get to blink the Might Stone. I probably just want to guarantee that I can block Copter, right? So, uh, get the Owl back. Exile Might Stone. All right, Owl returns, Owl grabs Glyph Bridge, then we're going to play Yorion. All right, Yorion blinks Golos, this, Ossification, Owl... Fabricator, Clay Fire, Smithy. Does Golos bring the, to your hand or a battlefield? Battlefield. All right, everything comes back. Boom, triggers. Uh, ossification, targeting, in, targeting this. All right, they've just conceded. Whew, that was close. On the draw, round two. Uh, huh, this is really slow, but it has a Nykthos. It's got, like, other things in it. All right, this deck seems like a ton of jank that does degenerate stuff because of Nykthos. That would seem to be the case. All right, Stone Carved Coast is probably Phoenix. Does land under tap? Yes, for Golos. All right, uh, let's just play Fabricator. So next turn, I guess I'm just playing Thran Spider to block this and their Phoenixes. Sleight of hand. I do like this Thran Spider in this matchup a lot. Blocks Phoenix, blocks Shredder. Doesn't die to f Fiery Impulse. The Power Stone is 100% useless for them, right? I don't think they have a single thing that they can spend it on. Consider, trigger, Phoenix in the Yard. All right, did you find your third land plus a one-drop spell? Tap land. Ledger Shredder attacks. We go to 18. All right, uh, yeah, Spider. Make a Power Stone on both sides. Also, all our removal is uh, Exile-based, so except Glyph Bridge. They axe our Spider, discarding a land. Galvanic Iteration? So are they about to cruise or what? They can't without getting rid of Fiend. No, they can if they exile Iteration. Discards an island. Double Cruise coming up. Double Cruise coming up. All right. Take five, go to 13. No longer have our blocker. We drew the Cascading Cataracts. Uh, if I play Glyph Bridge, it lets them keep Shredder. So that's bad. So let's just play Golos, even though it can't even block them. Huh. Well, yeah, all right. I guess go Golos it is. Tap, tap, play... Golos. I guess we just grab Inventor's Fair to gain life. Or Sunken Citadel better. Citadel gives us more mana, technically. Yeah, let's grab Citadel. Play this on accident, by the way. I meant to play Nykthos. Give them a little, little less information that I have the casket, that I have the Cataracts. Free the Fey into... Uh, can't be Trespass because they can't cast Trespass this turn. They got... No, they did pick Trespass. So they're going to plan for next turn to do it. Sure. Slide of Hand. All your Shredder. Another Phoenix in the yard. Don't tell me they also have Lightning Axe on top of all that. Fiery Impulse. Shock. Ugh, yeah. All right. We take nine, go to four, and then it doesn't matter because even if we get these phoenixes off the board, they just come back. All right. Owl. What do I do with that? Nykthos. I mean, they just get to cast Trespass and take multiple turns, right? So no matter what we do, we just lose. This one, this one, this one, this one. Play Owl. 
All right, well, Glyph Bridge is our only pick. Um, I can actually play, oh no, I can't play the Clay Fire Bricks because I don't have white. So five Devotion here. Actually, wait. So I can play Bricks off of the Citadel plus Power Stone, but then I'm short. Yeah, okay, so I have to nick those. And I'm short on playing Yorion as well. So we just go Clay Fire, triggers the Shredder. What can you do? We're just going to lose, right? They discarded a third Phoenix. I mean, I can play Glyph Bridge and then they just get Phoenixes back and we lose the game anyway. I mean, sure. Glyph Bridge. Trigger. We can't choose anything. Everything dies. Over to them. And so what non-Phoenix stuff do they have in here? Actually, they'd only have to exile. So Temple Trespass. All they have to do is cast three spells. It doesn't even have to be Trespass. We're still dead. Free the Fey. Revealing. Uh, consider. Yeah, okay, we're dead. Show me spell number three. I guess they can just Trespass and delve things that aren't Phoenix, right? All right, so what do we want to sideboard? Lay down arms, exile stuff, uh, rip for sure, hearse. Mightstone, weak stone seems super bad. What else is really bad? Smith, it just gives them targets for their removal. Uh, Glyph Bridge is also pretty freaking bad. I mean, hypothetically, I can like stone brain Phoenix out of their deck and then they have a much slower time actually beating us. I think I do that on the play and then swap it again on the draw so when we're not curving into brain. All right, game two. This seems fine. Keep planes go. Shocks and steam vents. Play sleight of hand. All right, fabrication. Back to them. So two turns away from Golos. If they don't play Shredder, we have no target for ossification this turn. They did not play Shredder. Ooh, Iron Crag. All right, white. This one, Iron Crag. Negate this. I'm really surprised they did that. All right. Like, yeah, it prevents me from putting Yori out of my hand this turn by them doing that. But it just seems like there should be better targets for their negates than that. Finally plays Ledger Shredder. Consider. As much as I want to play Golos right now, I probably just have to get this off the field, right? All right, Ossify. Oh, I forgot. This is artifacts only, so I can't even put Yorion in my hand. All right, well, back to them. Sleight of hand. I think it's just like stem the bleeding. Consider. Opt. All right, so Phoenix comes back. At least we get to kill it. Huh. Once again, it's just like, it's so bad if we don't play Golos this turn. Like, if my whole turn is just Ossify plus Yorion. It's so bad. Play Cascading. I'm one short of also being able to Ossify this turn. I can Ossify plus put Yorion on my hand at least. All right, let's do that. So Ossify the Phoenix and put Yorion. Even though I can take the hit from the Phoenix, my thinking is that if I just play Golos and pass back to them, it just allows them to potentially like axe the Golos, maybe get another Phoenix back. It's just like really bad. So Fable plus they have Stroke Mana open. All right, I'm gonna play Golos. Golos resolves, use the ability. I guess I'm grabbing Nykthos, right? Even though my white count's not that high. All right, Nykthos, play Portable Hole, eat the Shaman, play Sunken Citadel, name white. Back to them. So either they didn't have Stroke or they didn't consider it worth using on it. Discards Axe and Phoenix. Uh-huh. Sahili. Do they just have another Axe? Because that's the only way I can see them justifying discarding this one. Yeah, okay. Lightning Axe, discarding Shredder, kills Golos off. An Owl into Yorion. Uh, let's see. Nothing that I... It has to be a combined mana value, right? So Owl. So white, white, white. Fabricator. I guess I can get Golos back this turn if I don't tap this, right? So if I tap this, play Owl, activate Nykthos, produce four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I have to sack Owl and Portable Hole to get Golos back. It seems better to just get Golos back. All right. So tap for white. Owl. So Owl trigger... Ossification, then Nykthos for white, produce eight mana. So let's ossify Sahili? No, let's... So there's no way I can play Yorion and blink this and then still fabricate for Golos. So I should fabricate Golos. All right, although that heavily reduces my Nykthos mana, but I think it's still better to just have Golos in play. So target Golos, and then we're gonna get rid of Hole plus Owl. Golos returns, use the ability. Let's go grab another Sunken Citadel, name white. Then we play Yorion, trigger. Uh, I think I want to get rid of Sahili more than I want them to have. Let's get rid of this, this, this. I can leave them with an arc light and then go to end step. Go trigger, everything returns. Ossify, put it on the land. Put this on Sahili. And then let's go grab another Sunken Citadel. Well, that was a long turn. So if Golos survives, we get to actually activate it. Crackling Drake. Thankfully, we have this ossification over here that we can get rid of this with. All right, ossification. Get rid of the Drake, then activate this. Nykthos is one, two, three, four, five, six mana right now. Okay, so Nykthos, and then we're going to Sunken Citadel, Sunken Citadel, Cataracts. After that, this one, produce green, red, blue, black. 
Activate Golos. I guess I may as well tap this, right? Now nah, I could just use my floating mon, it's fine. Nah, I'll tap this. All right, Golos. We spawn into Golos Land Land. All right, well, Sunken Citadel, name white. I mean, may as well play this other Golos. Cast it, keep this one. Trigger. I'm just missing what, Arden Veil? I guess I should have popped this ahead of time, right? Oh, I don't even have three artifacts? Wow, I actually don't act even have three artifacts. Huh. I guess we just pass. I mean, Golos is, al is alive, so I mean, we just keep spinning it. Free the Fae, milling this stuff over. They took Sitter. I'm surprised they didn't take Lightning Axe to get rid of Golos. Galvanic Iteration, flashback. Lightning Axe, both are dudes. They just had the fourth Lightning Axe in their hand anyway. All right. Congrats, opponent. You got it all. And we're still short on Metal Craft, right? Actually, we're actually just going to lose now. Wow. All right. Uh, Fabrication Foundry. Uh, can I get back anything of relevance? No. And I can't activate this. So, yeah. Just pass. And then um, we Arden Veil to block Reflection. Actually, no, that doesn't even work. They just reflect their Arclight Phoenix. Treasure Cruise. Uh-huh. Treasure Cruise again. Uh-huh. Consider. Slide of hand. Yeah, all right. We're dead. I can't believe that. They milled over Galvanic, and they had the fourth axe in their hand to kill both my guys. Unbelievable. Well, our hand is very slow, but it at least has Interaction and Thrand Spider and Nykthos. I'll keep. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Thoughts. Hick Skyclave. Uh-huh. Drew a Plains. Play a Plains. Go. Seer Step. No actions. Do another Plains. Go. Stomp end of turn. Sure. Plays Bone Crusher. Thrand Spider doesn't even block it, but all right. Drew Owl. Might play Thrand Spider. They attack, no blocks. We go to 14. Plays Archfiend of the Dross. All right, we're incredibly far behind. My only possible out at this point is really just playing Owl. So play Owl. I probably just have to find Glyph Bridge off of this. Portable, Foundry, Iron Crag. So nothing helpful. So let's just grab Foundry. I guess I'm doing what? Owl trades with Bone Crusher? Maybe. With both. Owl blocks Bone Crusher. All right, we take six from this thing and then another two because the owl died. So we're at six. Graveyard Trespasser, eat the owl, or another thing. Oh yeah. So we're at five and we have to block this thing and any creature that dies, we take damage. How in the world do I get out of this? All right, play Foundry. I have to block both of them, right? So how much mana do I have next turn? It's pr I probably just have to play the owl, right? All right, another owl. Back to them. Any removal spell and I lose the game because I have to owl chump this Thran block here because if I do it the other way, I'm dead. Actually, they could just animate Hive, right? So I'm just, I'm dead regardless. Yeah, all right. So let's see. Uh, we want kill spells. We want Might Stone. Yeah, Thousand Moon Smithy. Lay down, maybe. Want to get rid of Stone Brain. Portable Hole seems incredibly bad. Like there's just nothing other than Blood Tithe Harvester that we can even kill with it that matters. Just cut all the portables and what else we got. And then once again, I'm just never a fan of uh, NG Smith. Like it just always feels bad. But I don't know that in this matchup that's particularly this, the same as the other ones, but there's nothing else that I really want to cut over it. Maybe Iron Crag? One of the two Iron Crags? Nah, not even. I, I just need to leverage mana. All right, we only have one land. Mull. Better, I guess. I'm going to put a land back because with the Clay Fire Bricks, we have basically four lands, unless they thought sees us, of course, but I'm not going to bend this. I'm not going to make my decision based on whether they have turn one thought or not. All right, Haunted Ridge. Ooh, Ingenious Smith. All right, we'll play that first. Bank Buster, go. Blood Tithe. This is crew three, right? All right, so let's just play Clay Fire. All right, then no attacks. We'll trade, or if they have a removal spell, at least force them to use a removal. They are attacking, we will block. All right, trade, Fable. Fabrication, Foundry, all right. Well, we don't need initial mana, so let's just play Bank Buster and draw a card. Fable, discards a land. Thought sees us, sure. I would assume Golos would get taken here. They took Might Stone. Okay, so either they've got a threat to follow it up with or they don't want Fable uh, Reflection to die. Thoughtseize again. All right, well, so Shaman attacks, make a treasure. We go to 20. Blood Crypt tap. Pops the treasure for Blood Tithe. All right, uh, activate this, draw a card. Oh man, this is so frustrating. So I got to Skyclave this dude, right? Just has to. Okay, so Skyclave, eat the Blood Tithe Harvester because it's a removal spell in play. And then we can represent... Oh, and actually, we can't represent Kring Bank Buster. So if they attack here, I guess I trade with it, because at least then they just have an illusion instead of a thing that makes treasures every turn. The reflection flips over. NT. Never mind. Can't trade with it anymore. All right. Shaman, NT triggers. Discards. Takanuma. And reveals another NT. All right. No blocks. We're at 17. Go blank. I guess I may as well draw in response to that, so I can decide what I want to uh, discard. 
All right, I'll get rid of Foundry and Planes. Keep Get Lost around. So two creatures in play that I absolutely have to deal with. I guess I can deal with both of them. First things first, Bankbuster. This at least gives me a treasure, so I can still do both. Skyclave. So I can Skyclave... I mean, they're out of cards, right? So they're drawing, and then they have two relooks with blood tokens. So let's Skyclave in T, and then we'll just pass, I guess. So these games between Rakdos are going to be games of attrition, probably, like, unless they have a really fast start and hand disrupting you. Probably games of attrition, so as long as we can get more cards than they do, we can win. And we still have... We're up one card to theirs, and we have got Yorion. All right, if they've got a removal spell to blow me out, I'm fine. Skyclave, Skyclave. If the one card they drew off the top was a removal spell that they can kill one of our guys with, then sure. And it was Bone Crusher, the best one they could have drawn. So they're not even down a card by doing that. <sighs> I could have also hypothetically blocked with the pilot token. I want that around so I can crew Bank Buster. This is spell, right? Ability gets through it. So Ossify, take the Bone Crusher, and then let's get Yorion in my hand. Back to that. So we can still crew Bank Buster to block, and we still have Get Lost open. Blood, discard, Blood Crit. Blood, discard, Black Blade. Copy the Fable token. Maybe ossify a token instead when you blink it with Yorion. I didn't want to take another four off Bone Crusher. It would have been another eight off Bone Crusher plus the reflection if I had done that. Make some treasures. All right, crew this. Of course they... All right, how much are we taking here? Nine. I probably need to stem the bleed by killing this thing. Yeah, all right, get lost. Iron Crag. So I can play it and still have Yorion open. All right, Iron Crag, Yorion. I'm probably blinking everything and ossifying this token, right? I guess I also turn the iron crag into a guy into a equipment so blink ossify clay bricks let's turn this into a thing and step this here target the shaman grab a planes so they've got whatever it is off the top oh i forgot the map tokens i forgot about those map tokens they can make bone crusher bigger i guess they could have also made the shaman bigger as well so it is what it is so they have whatever they drew and we've got flipping bricks over this is plus three and you lose all your abilities right Oh no, the, the Everflame loses its abilities. The creature you're equipping to doesn't. Combat. So obviously they wouldn't attack like this unless they had like another Bone Crusher or something. If I just block an Illusion token, it's like so much worth. We go to four. All right, I'm just going to block an Illusion. All right, we're at four. What do you have? If it's Shieldred, we can't win anyway. Croxa. Oh, and they can bring it back. Oh my. And they're making us discard a land so we can't even flip the bricks anyway. How have they drawn just... Their draws have been insane. They have every card they need every time they need it. It's it's literally never like, oh, we're top decking? Oh, we just drew land or something. It's like, like, not only are they not drawing lands, they're drawing the exact best spell that they can possibly get at every moment. Unbelievable. All right, we're on the draw for round four. This hand is acceptable. We have a curve. We've got lands. This is fine. Mountain Flame Blade Adept. Well, all right then. Plains Goat. Dark Steel Citadel. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but whatever it is, it's spicy. Smuggler's Copter. All right, that makes some sense. Play Smith. Grab Bankbuster is the only target. Back to them. Fable. And then they can crew this and attack with both for five. Oh, and this thing also pairs with Fable, doesn't it? Oh, and it has Menace, so I can't even block it. All right, can't block. Thran Spider can block. Should probably do that. All right, Thran Spider. Triggers. Smith gets bigger. Spider makes Power Stones. This card's A Mountain and Fiery Temper. Okay, so yeah. All in on uh, discard dot deck. Kills Smith. This can't block this. It can block Copter or Shaman. Just can't block Flame Blade Adept. Bomat Courier. Are they going to attack with everything? I guess I block the Shaman token to kill it at least. All right, block the Shaman. And we're at six. And unfortunately, we don't really have anything good to follow that up with. Okay, Skyclave is decent. What's the best thing to clave? I guess Copter. It's what's enabling all of their uh, looting right now. And then clay fire bricks to gain some life. Or do I just play smith to get another blocker into play? The problem is like double menace. I would also really like to get a th another artifact into play in order to start gaining life off the fair. All right, so let's skyclave. Let's eat the copter. What in the world do you have? Shrapnel blast in response was the last card in their hand. All right, clay fire bricks. Swing with everything. So I'm dead either way, right? No, I am I double block a flame blade and... Then we take two and go to one, unless they do anything. They can just hit us and then bow mat and then try to find another another burn or something. Plays a flame blade. All right, gain some life off the fair. Not that that's that helpful right now. We have to be able to block everything, which is not going to happen. So Golos doesn't work. So nothing works. So I guess I'm trying to smith for some kind of card. Smith. An owl. That doesn't help me. We have three blockers. We can't get any more. I guess I put Yorion on my hand and pass. Citadel, white, go. 
We're still dead, right? They just make a copy of uh, Flame Blade, discard the one card they draw, and then we can't block everything and we lose. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter how we block, we still lose the game anyway. Okay, so at, all in on aggro, so we just play a bunch of removal. Anything that's removal, we're bringing in. Anything that's a creature that can block, we're bringing in. What's bad? Stone Brain, don't need it. Uh, Bank Buster, way too slow. Just doesn't actually do anything. Four mana to draw one card, terrible. I would normally cut Smith, but we actually do need blockers, so I'm not cutting Smith. I'm not cutting any of this. I'm not cutting any of my three drops. And then Owl is a blocker that costs less than all this stuff, so uh, what's not as good? Glyph Bridge is good. This is cheaper as a creature that can block stuff than any of this stuff. So I guess Golos gets trimmed. Yeah, all right, uh, that's fine. Citadel, white, Bowmat. We'll play Smith. Um, huh. I mean, the spider is like a better blocker. It's also the best thing I can play this next turn. So yeah, I'll take the spider. Inti. Uh-huh. Well, at least I guess they lose a card off of this if they want to grow this. Scrapwork Mutt. Fable was exiled. Not blocking. Well, now I wish I took hole, but hindsight 2020. I do have the mana for Glyph Bridge. So depending on what exactly they do, Copter, which doesn't get killed by Glyph Bridge. If they tag a bow metal, double block it. No attacks. Ooh, a portable hole for this copter. Very nice. All right. Um. So foundry, trigger the smith. Then this portable hole. Eat copter. Do they just have shrap blast? Because I can't see any other reason for them to delay just allowing this to resolve. Yep. Trap blasting the spider. Sure. And then put Yorion in my hand. Over to them. Trap blast the smith. The fact that this is not actually a wrath and allows them to retain one of their creatures is just such a problem with the card. Exile is a mountain. All right. We take five, go to 12. They get to play their free land. But they are... Oh, wait, what? They play the land from their hand instead of exile? Yep. Whoops. Okay. So, like, if I glyph bridge, they just pop courier and it doesn't even do anything. So terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have enough to play bricks plus Yorion. All right. White, this one, clay bricks, yield, play Yorion. So let's blink uh, this, this, and this, I guess. And am I targeting Bowmat or Inti? I guess Inti. Target Inti. It doesn't give them the option to sack or not if I do it this way. Plus, Inti is also a good thing that we just need to get off the board anyway. Fable off the top. Attack, sure. Lock, and then they're just going to sack it and get four cards. And now they have completely refueled their hand and have the Fable to dig, whereas we have nothing. All right, um... I think I just flip clay fire and then just start trying to beat them down, right? So, uh, portable hole, eat the token, and then flip this over, pay this, 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 and this, and then get rid of the portable hole that I have that is not on anything. So flip this over, anthem. The reason I'm not getting rid of Thran Spider is because I can get it back with the uh, foundry, which I might do. I find it far less likely that I'll be able to somehow make use of the portable hole that's in play that's not on anything. Discards a mountain, no second card discarded. Plays copter. Plays another copter. All right. Thousand Moon Smithy. Make a gigantic guy. And let's just start hitting them. I don't care if they cycle a card with copter. Let's just attack them with everything. And let's see. We can flip this over next turn. I mean, this is fine. We'll just pass. Plays another copter. Flame Blade Adept. Flame Blade Adept. Mm -hmm. No attacks. All right. This trigger, we're going to uh, tap this, this. These can't even really attack well, right? Because the copter can just block them. So this, this, and then the power stone. Yeah. So then let's portable hole using this mana. Trigger, make another huge guy. All right, we won that one. Has my plan of action changed at all? I don't think so. That seemed fine. All right, let's just do that again. Oh boy, this hand's super slow, but we do have Nykthos plus Arcanist Owl and Fabrication to get to the Owl faster, so... Actually, wait, can I even do that? That doesn't even work, actually, because I go Sunken Citadel, and then I go Land, Fabrication, Foundry, and then Nykthos is not an untapped land for Owl, so it's the other Citadels. I mean, that assumes I draw, like, nothing of relevance before that point, so I'll keep... Like, if I don't draw an untapped land nor do I draw anything that can interact with my opponent or block or anything, then yeah, we were going to lose the game anyway. Well, there's a land. Sit it all on white, go. Boy, it's awkward that these owls are 3-3s three and thus get hit by Fiery Temper and a bunch of, and like don't actually trade in combat very well. Scrapwork Mutt, discarding, for land Epicure, sure. Ooh, we drew Smith? Now it's got to be better to get owl out faster, right? This can't even like block Dingus. I mean, it can block, I suppose, if I want to trade. Let's just play Foundry. If the Owl survives, then it's just so much better on the following turn to have Nykthos mana. And they're not, like, horribly pressuring us. This card's Rampaging Ferocidon. All right. Owl. Trigger. Grab. Ossification. Over to them. If they're considering whether to attack or not, then 
they probably don't have anything to actually kill the owl off. Or they do, but it's just like a two for one. All right, I'll, I'll put this in front of Bo, Matt. Shrapnel Blast on us to reduce our life. Sure. Okay, so Nykthos. So let's see. Let's play Smith first. So Smith grabbing... I don't want Glyph Bridge. Just grab another Foundry. So then Mana, Mana. Six Mana. So we can spend some of that on Foundry, and then we'll be at five... Back up to six, Owl, and then we'll still have enough Rossification. Okay, so this, Foundry, trigger this, play Owl, using this. Owl trigger, Ossification, Ossification, eat one of these mutts. Do I attack with an Owl? They'd have to have what, like double removal on two mana to get rid of both of these? I think it's fine if I attack. Like there's also the possibility that we're going to have to race them considering they have Shrapnel Blast in their deck. No attacks. No plays either. So if I go, if they didn't do anything, I'm almost certain they have Shrapnel Blast and they're just going to blast like us in the face and then try to kill us next turn. I guess let's hold this. I mean, it's net neutral on mana because of Nykthos anyway. So hold, target your guy. Yeah, it's another Shrapnel Blast. Mm -hmm. We go to one. This fizzles, this gets bigger. So combat, attack with everything. Then second main, we will white, Nykthos for white. Put Yorion in our hand. Then... Yorion. And let's blink Owl. Owl. Unfortunately, we can't get anything immediately. So there's no like uh, clay fire bricks or whatever that we can just grab off the top. These are the only things I actually want to get, right? Just these. All right, let's blink them all. And then uh, let's play Castle Ardenvale, make a guy. All right, these all come back. Bricked on an Owl. Grab clay fire bricks, which we can't play right now. Grab Thranspider. And we're dead to Voldaren Epicure or any other burn. Third land temper, we're dead. On the draw, round five. Let's see. We can't ossify because we don't have basics. We do have Smith. We have Portable Hold to interact. Uh, I'll keep. Restless Anchorage. Oh, is our opponent Yorion? Okay, so they're blue white control. Whoa, this hand is just absolutely terrible against blue white control, isn't it? All right. Uh, let's, I guess, try to resolve Iron Crag. Counter. Third land. All right. Third land for us as well. And let's play Smith. Another counter spell. I'm actually going to play this portable hold just to get more devotion. There's an argument for not doing that. They do have things I can hit with this, but not a lot of them. All right, play spider. Basically, the only things this can hit are tokens. So uh, samurais, sharks, humans from Ardenvale. Get lost our dude. Okay. They only have one card in their hand, and, it's, and they're not putting Yorion in their hand or attacking with the anchorage. So I would assume that means the card is either Emperor or Deluge. We have four mana right now. I guess let's play Smith and try to map it. All right, Smith, trigger, reveal the owl. All right, map my guy. There's a land. All right, so map my guy again. Play Citadel, name white, back to them. Maybe they're just actually gonna Vantress. Yeah, okay, they're just Vantressing. Omen of the Sea, Scryzer 1-1, one, one. puts Yorion in their hand. All right, I do like that they're mostly tapped out. What's the move here? It's probably play Golos, because I can't owl and have Nykthos up. I'm one short to doing that. Maybe it's just play Mightstone and draw two cards, and then Mightstone's more mana. It's not a lot more. I guess it's the kind of the same amount of mana regardless of which one I do, but I have more options next turn if I play Mightstone. Also, if I draw two cards, I might be able to play something else here as well. One, two, three, four, five. Mightstone. So draw two. And we did in draw, indeed draw Thrand Spider and Fabrication Foundry. So let's just play the Spider, or because we're kind of short on white mana for the Owl, right? Yeah, let's play the the Foundry. And then combat, attack with... Puts Yorion into play, which just lets them blink Omen, and that's it. All right. Scryz and the returned Omen are two to the bottom. All right. So let's play this Owl. So white, 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 white. Play Owl. Owl reveal, Golos. And then... So Nykthos for white. Seven mana. So let's put Golos into play. Actually, I guess I can ossify this Yorion, right? No, that's not even good. Play Golos. So Golos triggers. Let's go get Cataract. And we've got a little mana left over to do what? There's not even anything that great on the board. Like, just play Spider, I guess. All right, and put Yorion in my hand. Back to them. So the problem is Blue White Control has access to Temp Lockdown, Get Lost. Uh, like, you know, a million things that can get rid of enchantments. So putting Yorion under an ossification that is just liable to allow it to re-blink stuff again seems pretty bad. Especially when I'm not even getting in for that much damage right now. Teferi, uh-huh. Pluses. Man, Skyclave doesn't even do anything here either, right? Yeah. They're going to do something in our upkeep. Field of Ruin, Nykthos. Sure. Um, yeah, if you're going to do that, you wait until draw step. But okay, well, we've got no use for that mana right now. I guess I can still activate Golos right now, right? Oh, I could have done it in response right there. I'm almost certainly going to do it anyway. I guess, it, yeah, I should have just activated Nykthos there. Oh, well. 
add mana, spend this, spend this, spend this, spend this, activate Golos. Two lands and an owl. All right, then. Play a land. Play the owl. Uh, portable hole, no. Clay fire bricks, yes, I guess. Oh, so there's like a million things they could have. I mean, the best option is ossify Yorion and attack everything into Teferi. But then if they just have a get lost, then they can just kill the ossification and get the Yorion back and even protect Teferi. So the best move is probably just swinging everything into Teferi without even killing Yorion first. And then that just lets them pick off uh, and Smith for no reason. And at combat or just one of these things for no reason. All right, everything at Teferi. Yeah, they block Smith. All right, kill Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. They have counter mana open. So it's not getting any better the longer I wait. All right, try to cast Yorion. They debated doing something and then just let it resolve anyway. All right, blank this, 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 this. Uh, Might Stone, done. Go to my end step. Everything comes back. Might Stone can at least kill this thing. So minus five here, and then everything else goes on the stack. What, what, am, I, what am I choosing right now? Choose target opponent for what? Oh, this thing, okay. Opponent cracks Omen, sure. Does that mean they just have Farewell or something to follow this up with? So let's grab a Thran Spider. Let's grab Stone Brain. Use Golos' ability. Let's put Nykthos into play. Spider makes this, then this kills Yorion off. And then we have to discard. Let's discard one card, a planes. Verdict, all our guys die. Uh-huh, okay. Um, I feel inclined to just Stone Brain to Fairy out of their deck. So let's do that. Cast Stone Brain. Target you with stone. Name to fairy hero. All right, eat the one that's in their graveyard. Their hand is absorb veto, deluge, deluge. What are the other threats still left in their deck? Ardenvale. They don't even have get lost in their deck, really. Ardenvale, Hall, Emperor, Shark Typhoon, Restless Anchorage. All right. Oh no, they do have get lost in their deck. They have two of them. Okay, stone brain resolve. Well, anything I play is actually no they don't have white mana open so this is the best time to play golos okay so what's our devotion to i glyph bridge for nothing that's uh, one two three four five glyph bridge fabrication it's too much mana right i don't have time to think about this regardless all right let's just play golos so play golos the ability let's go grab sunken citadel aim white all right so how much do i have this is this is four five cascade i actually have exactly enough to do it so Activate this, Citadel, Citadel, tap all the colors, Golos. Portable hole, two lands, cool. All right, play this, play portable hole, eat a power stone. Uh, we got nothing else to do, pass. We also have basically no pressure on them either, right? Deluge, Odawara the Golos back to our hand. Okay, what's this thing on the other side? It's a 5-3. Tap, 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 activate Gol or cast Golos again. Go grab the final Citadel, I guess. All right, Cascading, activate Golos. Two planes and a Bank Buster. All right, cast the Bank Buster. Um, I feel like we got to get some kind of pressure on the board, right? So they do have a Farewell in their deck, so I can't just like commit everything to the board. Skyclave with no target, sure. And let's play, I don't know, a Spider. <laughs> I guess I technically do want to draw a card with this Bank Buster. Let's just play another Bank Buster. All right, over to them. Memory Deluge. Shocks in, Hallowed Fountain. All right, end of turn, Bank Buster. Then back to us. All right, let's crew these Bank Busters. So play a Spider. How much mana do they have for their uh, thing right now? They're one short, right? Yeah, okay. Crew, crew, go to combat. Attack with Bank Busters. All right, we deal eight to them. Let's activate Cataracts. Activate Golo. Another Nykthos, Glyph, sure. Right, play Smith. We're not gonna play Glyph Bridge, obviously. Like that. How much White Devotion do I have? Six, all right. Nykthos, play this new one, and play Clay Fire Bricks, I don't know. Triggers, grab a Planes. Anything else to do at this point? Not really. Play Fabrication Foundry. I guess I may as well use Inventor's Fair. Absorb the Foundry, sure. All right, activate this. Let's go grab another Golos in case our first one dies, I suppose. And at this point, I have nothing really else to do. All right, they have Veto and four other cards I don't know about. Deluge. Absolutely riveting final game here of this league. All right, end step, Nykthos for white. Activate Thran Spider. Get a Bank Buster. Back to us. Uh-huh. Right, cast Bank Buster to grow the Smith that's in play. I'm gonna play Skyclave with no targets. Again, just so that I can have another creature to crew stuff. All right, this is the one that's sick, right? No, this is the one that... All right, crew this here. Crew this. Tap Golos. And then let's flip over this thing. Oh, I could have done this earlier. Oh, well. Flip this thing over. Exile Fabra Foundry from the graveyard. All right. Trigger. Anthem everything. Combat. Attack. Opponent oh, no. plays Emperor. Okay. Exile Bankbuster. Uh-huh. Damage is not lethal. 
We're also running low on time as well. Like, even if we win this game, look how much time we've got left compared to them. So many clicks to get through what we're doing. Marching, exiling Hallowed Moonlight to pay for it. Uh-huh. Bankbuster dies. Damage. Take six, go to seven. All right. Activate this thing. Then Golos. All right, play this. Grab the spider. Play this. Play this. I mean, at this point, like, play a spider. Let's just pass. I'm running out of time. The only real way they survive is drawing a Wrath, right? Given how many creatures I have on the board. If they do have a Wrath, I think we just lose the match because we don't have enough time to win. Deluge, Flashback. They only have three mana after that, aside from Power Stones. Makes a Samurai. All right, let's just attack with everything. Swing. I mean, this should be lethal. All right, gotta win game two in... Less than six minutes? No, they're doing something. Get lost. Sure. Still lethal. Okay, what am I switching? So, Portable Hole's trash. Uh, this draws cards. This is a threat. What else? Ossification, honestly, is not even that good. Especially when they have ways of blowing it up. I think I would much rather Stone Brain all the threats out of their deck. We do want Get Lost as well. So, yeah, let's just cut all the Ossifies. And what does that leave me with? Iron Crag, I don't need. Hearse is okay. Uh, what am I cutting? Oh, Glyph Bridge is just terrible, right? This this card's just awful. But Iron Crag back in. Um, I'd rather have an Ossify than a Glyph Bridge. Let's go with that. And we just have to play really aggressively. All right, that's fine. Citadel, White, go. Play Smith. How's it going? Uh, we might not be able to win because we're so far down on time. Grab Golos. Over to them. We're up a game, but we might lose the match just on time. Cycle, Shark Typhoon. All right, there's the third land. So play second Smith, Trigger... Uh, let's grab Owl, I guess. Go to combat. Swing. Fun of clicking on Moto? Yep. I'm just playing as though they don't have a sweeper because we're going to be too far behind if they do. All right. Ardenvale. Owl. Counters it. Can't pay for that. Attack. They play their own tap land. All right. Let's try to resolve Mightstone. All right. They counter it with Absorb. Attack with... Puts Yorion in their hand. All right. Let's play an Owl. Triggers. Everything goes on the stack. Uh, I'll grab another Owl. These go on the stack. All right. Combat. Swing, swing. All right, Nykthos, make white mana, cast uh, Golos, blowing up Sunken Citadel, sure, grab a Plains, Golos trigger, go grab Cataract, then this mana empties and it's back to them. Sweeper, back to us, presumably. All right, play Owl, resolves trigger, get Clay Bricks, Citadel for white, Spider, plays a Ganjo, back to us. All right, play this, Nykthos for white, no, play Foundry. Play Clay Bricks. Trigger, go get a plane. Nykthos, put Yorion in my hand. Activate Inventor's Fair. Grab Golos. And then combat. Swing. Bunch of mana. Hullbreaker Horror. Well, can't win the game anymore. It's a creature that's bigger than every creature we have, and every spell they have bounces our spells. Omen, bounce Owl back to our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. They're not even attacking. That doesn't make any sense, unless they accidentally skip through that. All right, Golos. <sighs> Sunken Citadel, white, play Smithy, make a big gnome, pass to them. Cycles, Shark Typhoon, okay. Attacks with the Shark, uh-huh. We take four. Temp, Lockdown, uh, what are they bouncing? Thousand Moon Smithy. This eats everything except Golos, sure. All right, play Smithy. Trigger, make a gnome, play the Owl. Owl Resolve, Trigger, Fabrication Foundry. Activate this for Nykthos Mana, play Yorion. All right, now they play the thing. Wandering Emperor, Trigger, Hullbreaker, bounces Yorion back to our hand, Emperor enters, all right, cast Fabrication Foundry, and over to them. They added a counter to their Hullbreaker. Temp Lockdown again, bouncing something, I don't know, bouncing Golos, sure. Temp Lockdown exiles the token and Foundry, attacks with Hullbreaker, right, no blocks, and Emperor makes a Samurai, sure. Smithy Trigger, nope, play Smithy. All right, this thing's legendary. Make a gnome. Play Golos. Takes so long to click through all this. Golos. Golos. Use the ability. Citadel. Attempt to go to combat. Attack Emperor. Spends a bunch of money. March here. Hullbreaker Horror Trigger. Presumably bounces Golos. Yeah. All right. Yorion. No, nah, let's just replay. Now let's play Yorion. Like this. All right. We make another gnome. Puts another counter on Hullbreaker. Plays their own Yorion. Hullbreaker Trigger. Bounces Yorion back to So what are they going to bring? Lockdown, I assume. Maybe Emperor. Yeah, blinks lockdown, gets another omen trigger. I think amazingly enough, if I had enough time, I actually could win this game, potentially, but not as is. So then lockdown comes back, eats these, gets rid of my token. All right, no, Golos, Leorion, Teferi. Putting up a good fight, but Hullbreaker is really good at stalling and burning time. It's not like, the problem is just how many clicks the deck takes to actually function. Like every trigger, you have to click a thing. Yeah, 
So we can't possibly win because we're just going to run out of time. And then we're going to lose the match. Oh, really? I have to, I can't just concede from the match entirely? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so uh, Mono White Devotion Artifact Centric. So the deck has three gigantic problems. The first problem is it's really slow. The second problem is it's a Yorion deck, so it's incredibly inconsistent and it's filled with a bunch of chaff. And the third, and this is the actual problem, this is like the, the thing that is actually killing the deck is, so the deck has a bunch of cards that are not that great, but that's fine if you support those cards with big payoffs. And the problem is the deck just doesn't have any good payoffs. So if you think about a traditional Nykthos deck, like what's the classic? It's mono green, right? What does mono green have access to? Mono green, at least before, had access to Karn, which could fetch up combo pieces. It had Cityscape Leveler. And its creatures were also fairly big, like it had 4-4 uh, four, four Trolls, 4-5 four, Pelucranoses that could flip into 6-6s, six, and 5-6 six Cavaliers, right? So you were playing all of these, you know, bad quote-unquote cards, like Llanowar Elves, Elvish Mystic, Wolf Willow Haven, Cura, you know, all these cards that didn't really do anything, but you had good payoffs. Whereas this deck is playing, you know, you've got all of these low-end cards that are not very good, but what are our high-end cards? Like, what are the things that are actually going to win the game, right? Well, our, our win the game cards are a 3-3 three, three flyer, a 3-5 that can spin into more of this garbage, Yorion, which is a 4-5 flyer that can blink more of this garbage, and that's it. There's no like Eldrazi Titans, there's no huge gigantic like Cityscape Leveler-esque bombs. Even Thousand Moon Smithy isn't even in the main deck, right? So if you are going to play a deck like this, with that whole plan is revolving around, you know, slow the game down, generate a bunch of devotion, get Nykthos out. You need to have better payoffs. And one of those could have been Thousand Moon Smithy. Other things could have been like Leveler, Emrakul, just like any actually good late game payoff that isn't just spinning Golos, playing Yorion, because these cards are not enough to close out a game. But even aside from all that, like so many of the other cards in the deck are just so bad. Like Thran Spiders and our Owls are just slow and low power. Skyclaves, also not very good. Especially with, like, as much um, permanent removal that's running around now with Get Lost. Like, these removal spells are at their worst. You've got not particularly good ramp. Also, Ingenious Smith. I think this card is just actually trash and basically shouldn't be in anything. And it's particularly bad here in a deck that has no beatdown plan whatsoever. These are also really awkward because you want Wraths that actually kill everything and leaving your opponent with one of their creatures behind, which could even be something as good as like an Inti is re also really bad. And they don't kill Smuggler's Copters because the Coppers aren't creatures. I would have assumed Thousand Moon Smithy would be the payoff. Yeah, there needs to be just like a lot better payoffs in this deck. But even if you put Thousand Moon Smithy main and maybe like an Emrakul or a Cityscape Leveler or like one of those other things, just this deck is really bad. I never like played an Owl and thought, yeah, I've got an Owl in play now. That's awesome. I never played Skyclave and thought, oh good, two more white pips. The deck just feels really bad overall. I think you would have to completely strip it apart and build it from the ground up. Anyways, that is the end of the Mono White Devotion League. Anyways, I think a thing I'm going to start doing at the end of these videos is uh, I want to give some recommendations for media that I really like, and that might be a nice little treat for each time we do this. So today's recommendation is The Owl House, a animated fantasy series from Disney. It's very charming, great world building, nice powers, wholesome slice of life characters, highly recommended. And that will be the end of our league.